here we go. This is the door to the room. We got <laughs> a warning sign, genius at work. <laughs> Love it. So yeah, this is what we got going on here. Pretty cool. This is the incredible yesterday and today poster. Wish I had the album with that artwork on it. This is a Rock Legends plaque that my dad gave me a number of years ago. He's had it probably since the early 80s, but uh, he gave it to me and I just hung it up and it uh, looks great on my wall here. So thank you, dad. Now oh, we got everyone in here. We got Beatles, we got Elvis, we got Peter Gabriel, Ian Anderson, Stevie Nicks. Uh, of course, we got Frank Zappa there. If you're a Frank Zappa fan, I definitely recommend you go over to the Prague Corner after this video and you go check out the live stream that I did with them a couple weeks ago. Uh, Scott and company over on the Prague Corner. The stream was called Our 10 Favorite Frank Zappa Songs. It's definitely worth your attention if you haven't seen it already. Anyway. We got lots of famous musicians here. We even got Rick Wakeman. Look at that. Rick Wakeman's on here. Pretty cool. Speaking of Rick Wakeman, we got the band he was in. Yes! <laughs> got the Fragile album poster with Bugs Bunny beside him. Yeah. What's up, Doc? We got some uh, new arrivals and recently listened to CDs that are being, like, that are waiting to be put away into the, into the big CD collection around the corner here. There's some tapes and stuff in there too, some DVDs and such. Uh, we got um, Beatles plaque, got a Rush tin, got a Metallica tin, and got the Beatles for sale plaque, pretty cool. And no, it's not for sale. <laughs> we got the new Pink Floyd, uh, Adam Hartmother CD, Blu-ray uh, box contraption set. <laughs> it's really cool anyway. We got the new White Snake, Still Good to Be Bad, Super Deluxe Box. And we got the Megadeth War Chest. I've had this for a number of years now, but it's great. Great, great, great. We got the Police Synchronicity. We got Getty Lee's Beautiful Book of Bass. Big, beautiful book of bass. We'll get more into that in a second, but this is just a bunch of books and magazines and, and tour books and such that I own. Let's get into this. So I actually went to the Oakville Center to, to see a an, uh, Q&A with him about you know four or five years ago now when he was uh, writing and promoting this book. And it had just come out. And uh, so he did a book signing too and I got to meet him and he signed the book to Cody, my drummer friend, G. Lee. Getty Lee's big, beautiful book of bass. Look at that. And he went to his bass collection, pulled out all these cool basses to talk about and gave every tidbit of possible information that you could ever want to know about any of these things. Oh, that Rickenbacker. Love it. Woo! We love a bass player who plays a Rickenbacker. Ain't that right, Chris? <laughs> More on that in a second. This is the Genesis Wall. If you've been watching this channel for any number, for any length of time, you've probably seen this before. So over here, we got the Genesis Albums poster. We got the Lamb Lies Down on Broadway poster. We got the Lamb Clock, and we got this cool plaque up here. Pretty cool. We've got this Peter Gabriel portrait that was actually hand-painted by a close friend of mine, so thank you. We got this cool gold edition guitar pick display with all the album art and pictures of the band and stuff on each pick, and it's got signatures of the band on top of their picture. We got this Phil Collins portrait that I got at his concert about five years ago. And this is signed number 372 of 500. Not signed by Phil, but it's just, you know, it's a numbered. It's pretty cool. This is uh, pictures of the first two times that I met Steve Hackett. I met him many times since then. This is, of course, November 30th, 2015 at the Oakville Center in Ontario, Canada. I've even interviewed him since then. Pretty cool. This is all the Genesis uh, catalog box sets, so 70 to 75, 76 to 82, 83 to 98, and this is the live one, 73 to 07, and this is the movie box, uh, 81 to 07. This is all the CDs, so all the studio and live and then solo endeavors that the band has done. This is everything Genesis related here. We've even got the Genesis VHS tapes. We have Genesis and related DVDs and cassettes. 
books and more DVDs and so on and so forth. Pretty cool. There's Kermit wearing my hat. <laughs> and same for the vinyl here. So this is all Genesis uh, studio albums and, vi and live vinyl albums. And then of course it's all the solo members like Steve Hackett, Phil Collins, Tony Banks, Mike Rutherford, so on and so forth. Cool uh, Steve Hackett box set, Premonitions box set there. More books. Just this is random artists' books. So you got everyone, everyone from Jim Morris and to Freddie Mercury to uh, Howard Stern to Peter Gabriel and stuff down there. Some Genesis books in this bottom corner there. Cool. And back to Chris over here and his friends, the Beatles. We got this Beatles. Got this Beatles corner here. We got all the Beatles box sets, all the solo, everything from you know the Revolver box sets, all the anniversary sets, everything over here. And then, of course, we got the George Harrison discography box. We got uh, most of the Paul McCartney archive box sets. We got the Lennon box sets. Stereo and mono CD sets. And some Rolling Stone stuff there, too. We've also got the Beatles singles collection and the stereo vinyl box set. I wish I had the mono one, but it's pretty rare. <laughs> And we got this cool crossy little uh, radio and CD player jukebox thing. Let's turn on the radio. Woo! <laughs> Pretty cool. We got this uh, George Harrison 8 track, 8 track tape collection. I hate 8 tracks, but I do collect anything music and especially anything Beatles. We got this Hofner uh, mini mini guitar, the, uh, Paul McCartney's bass. Pretty cool. And we got the, this is not Beatles related, these two things, but it's uh, the Van Halen Japanese singles 73 to 84 and the Rolling Stones Let It Bleed CD, CD box set. I needed a place to put them and uh, they looked really cool here. So I know they're not Beatles related, but hey, puts a different twist on things, right? There's the Chris Squire plaque I was showing you a minute ago with the Asia pass from when I saw and met some of the members of Asia. Pretty cool. We got this Pink Floyd plaque up here with all the naked girls <laughs> with the Pink Floyd art. And this is like, um, this shows some pretty, like this stores some pretty cool box sets in here. You know, we got the ELP. We got this pretty cool Prince plaque here. That's pretty big time. That's pretty cool. Got the Queen Studio Albums box set, Studio Collection. It's all the albums on colored vinyl. Got the Tom Petty one, and of course we got Alice in Chains, the Dirt box set. Got some CD box sets in here too. UFO, Strangers in the Night, pretty cool. There's a Rush mug. Got the Iron Maiden, got the Iron Maiden poster there. We're gonna come back to that in a second, but I want to show you some cool, uh, some cool tins that I got hanging up for decoration up here. We got, I gotta go through these pretty quickly. We got Johnny Cash, Black Sabbath, AC/DC, Led Zeppelin, Rush, Metallica, Genesis, Iron Maiden, Rush, The Police, Def Leppard. I get hysterical, hysteria when you get that feeling. Yeah, pretty cool. Anthrax, State of Euphoria, The Who, Live in Texas 75, Metallica and Justice for All, Iron Maiden, Peace of Mind. Got a nice uh, nice animated Beatles, one of them, Crossing the Road, Abbey Road, ACDC, No Bull, Director's Cut. Got the nice Beatles, one of them, Running Away from Something. <laughs> Queen from the, from the Hammersmith Odeon, Pink Floyd, David Gilmore, Foo Fighters, Rush, ah, Diamond Dave, and Eddie Van Halen, pretty cool. Def Leppard, Queen, Alice Cooper, David Bowie, the iconic Roger Waters. Ah, oh, they're all iconic up here, but uh, Beatles Help, Taylor Hawkins from the Tribute Concert, R.I.P. Brother, you are missed. And same with you, Tom Petty. R.I.P. We love you. Love you both. All right. There's a lot to unpack here. We're not even halfway through yet. <laughs> 
So I'm going to show you the vinyl cubbies pretty quick before we get into some of the posters. Um, so we got we got the A to D section here. D, of course, being down here. Then we got D to G at the bottom. We got G continued over here. Some Grateful Dead stuff there. All the way to K down here. And then L continued. To P down here. And then P continued here. To R down there. Sorry, S down there. And some of these have some uh, vinyl in the cubbies here, but uh, basically it's S all the way to Y down there. Lots going on here. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Oh, you got the Grateful Dead. You got the Grateful Dead center up here. We got some box sets and some posters and such. Pretty cool. We got the Motorhead section with the nice Motorhead poster there. We got some cool Funko Pops of the Motorhead, Ace of Spades. And of course, we got some Pearl Jam Funkos there. Got a nice Motorhead Ace of Spades box set here, the vinyl and DVD box, pretty cool. And various Funkos here. And of course, we got the Metallica tin and the Yes tin. Of course, this is the same um, guitar pick display, similar to the one of Genesis I showed you over earlier on in the video there. Pretty cool. We got a Pete Townsend poster. We got uh, Abbey Road lenticular uh, poster plaque thing here. We got the Master of Puppets plaque with the platinum album in the middle. Pretty cool. We got ACDC in concert Funko Pop edition. Pretty cool with the, with the, <laughs> with the cannons and everything behind. We got some more Funkos here. We got some Metallica, some Def Leppard, some Queen. You know how we do. We got some Kiss, Metallica. That's right, I said Metallica, Megadeth, Judas Priest, and this nice, beautiful Queen 2 poster up here. Sorry for the glare from the light. We also got this Roger Waters SNM tour poster. I was actually at that concert. Pretty cool. Def Leppard Hysteria, Funko Pop Albums box set. So there's no actual album in it, but it's the album cover and all the Funko members of the band. Pretty cool. We got Stone Sour, House of Golden Bones, part one and two, but you put them together, CD forms, and they make a house. Pretty cool. I wish it was that easy to make a house otherwise. <laughs> got this nice Slayer mug. Got the Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, Immersion box set. Same with the I Wish You Were Here box set. If you guys want me to do an unboxing video of any of these albums, I absolutely will for you, no problem. Then we got Pink Floyd, uh, The Mother. Um, so this is from, like, if you ever saw the movie, The Wall, this is The Mom. And uh, there's actually like six other parts to this that are available, but they're really hard to get, but they all connect together and make one long wall piece, pretty cool. We got the Dark Side of the Moon 50th Anniversary box. We got the Later Years box. So this is everything Pink Floyd from Momentary Lapse of Reason up to the Endless River. We got the Discovery box, which a friend of mine was actually super nice enough to just give me this. And it's all the, soul, it's all the studio albums from Piper in 67 to Division Bell. And we got the Early Years box, which is 65 to 72. So this, so this is everything from uh, before Piper of the Gates of Dawn, like just from the early formation of Pink Floyd, right up to uh, Obscured by Clouds, they didn't forget a single thing in this box. They put everything, including the kitchen sink in there. There's the Pink Floyd van, the early years van, and some Pink Floyd books, various albums and such that need to be put away. This is my Thorin's turntable, TD-166MK2 with that nice golden Thorin's stylus here. Sorry if it's not in focus. Yeah, there you go. 
This is actually a 1972 UK edition on vinyl, of course, of uh, Frank Zappa, Absolutely Free, that I was listening to the other night. Pretty great turntable. This is an Akai equalizer. This is a Denon receiver. This is the AVR X4700H. This is my signed Rush album by all three members of Rush, Alex Lifeson, Neil Peart, and Getty Lee. Pretty cool. Super happy to have that. Here's some bass player magazines down there. Some uh, metal comic books and such. And some, of course, some biography books. Oh, the new Metallica. Love it. 72 seasons on CD and cassette. I uh, dig it. I uh, dig it a lot. That's my uh, high school graduation photo. <laughs> Rush beer, limited edition collector cans, and of course we got the uh, the Rush plaque here. I think everyone's seen this picture before, but if you haven't seen this plaque, it's pretty cool. It's got the gold album, it's got all the studio album images up there, and it's got the live albums, the compilations and such. Pretty cool. This is Metallica in Concert, Master of Puppets, uh, tour 1986, so this is actually from just before Cliff Burton passed away, so RIP Cliff Burton, we miss you man. Cliff Burton, Lars Ulrich, James Hetfield, and Kirk Hammett. Pretty cool. With the drum set and everything behind. It's like a full-on Metallica stage from 86. Pretty cool. This is the division bell, guys. I think I forgot to show you guys this. Pretty cool. For the for the Pink Floyd fans out there, you know? Got the Metallica plaque from the load reload era. There's an ACDC plaque that I just haven't hung up yet. There's a Ibanez acoustic bass. Pretty cool. And we've got the Iron Maiden uh, CD box sets. So this comes with each, all three of these that I have here come with the uh, uh, figurines. So we got Matter of Life and Death. We got Somewhere in Time. We got an Anthrax one for Among the Living. No CD with that though. And we've got Fear of the Dark. And of course we also have this wonderful Iron Maiden Killers uh, tank card uh, mug. Pretty cool, look at that. Yeah, pretty sweet. And of course we got an Iron Maiden poster with the Power Slave Funko Pop album. We got the Iron Maiden Trooper Ale with the with the shot glasses or with the shot mugs and the uh, the other the, this is the Senjutsu mug. We got the Trooper Eddie and we got Vic Rattlehead from Megadeth. He, that's uh, that's their mascot. We got Peter Chris watching the whole shebang. We got some more Iron Maiden Funko Pops here. Check these out. We got this pretty sweet Beatles poster here. Again, sorry for the glare from the lights. We got some more Funkos, more Iron Maiden, Slipknot, Slayer, Aerosmith, Jerry Garcia. We got Looney Tunes, Run DMC. John Lennon and Rush. This Rush one's really hard to get now, and I'm super glad I have it. I love Rush. Speaking of loving, oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that Iron Maiden flag with that cool Angus Young poster up there. Love it, love it, love it. This is like a museum walking around down here. This is a, it's a Rush tin. Frank Zappa guitar pick display. And look at this. The Neil Peart drum set. These are hard to set up, these things, you know? <laughs> Pretty cool. And there's actually a carved wooden uh, Neil Peart uh, image. Hand, hand done. Pretty cool. This is my CD collection. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> So everything from A all the way to Y down there. I got it all. And all these cool Funko Pops here. Nice cool Mick and Keith poster up there. Got some more Funko Pop albums. So we got Queen, we got Rush. Got ACDC, got a couple of cool other figurines in theirs as well. Oh, a little White Snake CD box set sitting up there. 
ACDC, Black Sabbath, Ozzy, you know, police. Lots of cool Funko Pops here. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna enter the recording studio. Pretty cool. Let's go check it out. This is the control room. This is where this is where we uh, where we man some of the uh, production recordings going on around here. Turn that back on. Oh, it's on. Just it's, it's, it's sleeping. <laughs> There's the vocal booth in there. Yeah, this is the, uh, oh, there's a little uh, nice view into the drum room. We're going to go there in a second. But uh, yeah, this is the control room here at Brockway Recording Studios. And yeah, let's uh, let's get some lights on in here. Pretty cool. So this is the uh, this is the rehearsal uh, recording band room. So there's some guitars. There's a nice Fender amp that belongs to a friend of mine. There's the Gretsch drums. Pretty cool. If you've, ever, if you've ever seen any of my drum covers over on Cody Brockway drums, then you've probably seen these before. Um, this is my EVH guitar, the Wolfgang Special. Check that out. This is my Eddie Van Halen guitar that I own. I love this thing. Uh, this is the same guitar that he played during the uh, Unlawful Carnal Knowledge era of Van Halen, 1991. And, uh, well, it, that was a different color one that he played back then, but uh, the one that Wolfie plays all the time now is this identical black one. Pretty cool. Cody Brockway with a nice little piano here. I love this thing. And this is from behind the drum kit. Yeah, so there's uh, there's some chimes. This is what the drum kit looks like in here. Pretty cool. So this is the this is the recording room. Pretty sweet. And we're back out into the man cave area here. There's a lot to look at here, boys and girls, and whomever you are. So yeah, this is the, uh, this is my music room tour 2023. I know you guys really liked the first one that I did in my old house in 2022. I hope you dig this one too, because this is a much bigger space and uh, really nice down here. I love it. Yeah, look at that. Thank you so much for watching. This has been another special episode from Brockway's Vinyl Bites. All right, we'll see you next time. Rock on!